Welcome to K1 World Grand Prix 2015 Japan. This is the under 55K World Championship Tournament at the Yuri National Stadium. Second gymnasium, I'm Russell Goodall. And I'm Nicholas Pitts. This is a K1 under 65 kilogram fight uh, between Yasuomi Soda and Yuta Kubo. Mm -hmm. In fact, interesting in the tournament, uh, in the previous year in 2014, these two uh, fought up tournament, Soda. Uh, losing against uh, Gale, becoming second runner-up, and third was Kubo. So it's kind of like a, a sort of seeing each other again here in the ring, almost a year later. Mm. Yeah, this is going to be a good fight. Yeah. You're super strong, long-limbed, and fast and fit. You see, Kubo is actually a softball. It could be a bit awkward for Soda. Mm. Where's the 270 is out here? here. Kubo's got that. Uh, he's got 41 wins and 80 nothing. Yeah, he's got a fantastic mm. fight record. Him and his brother are really good fighters, by the But it's kind of one of those fights where you think, yeah, you know, what if? What if, yeah. What if they had fought in the tournament? Uh, what if they had both gotten into the final? Yeah. You know, so it's one of those what if fights, in my opinion. <laughs> so we'll see who's going to come out the winner of this sure. one. They've been just sussing each other out kind of here in the first round. A nice high kick station for one. Yeah, no, he yeah. uses his left leg really well. Oh, taking some combination punches there, that's not so good. Ooh, I like that. You can see how physically strong Soda is, you know, just yeah. by manhandling him like that. Because he's a, mm. he's a physically strong uh, fighter here, uh, Kubo. Kubo Yuta. Clean <laughs> <laughs> mm. sharp punches. You can tell he's really picking the shots. Mm. Seems to be like Soda is a bit frustrated here. He's not really finding his groove in the first round here. Yeah, round one and, and 20 seconds to go. Yeah, he's got to find his game. game, game all that, all that. How about Kubo though? You think he's, he's got more of control of, of Well, he's this been round? the busier fighter in the first round here mm. for sure. He's you know, landed more punches and done a lot more kicks and stuff. And he's kind of really controlling the fight there, as in keeping him where he wants him. There's round one there. Yes, when he saw that in the Kubo. Yeah, it just didn't seem like he, 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 he found his groove in the first round here. I mean, right at the end, when they started, you know, punching it up, that's when he was really starting to shine. How difficult or frustrating is it, like, for an orthodox fighter, when, you, when you've got a, a southpaw guy like Kubo coming at you? Mm, so he's a really, he's a good southpaw, which means that he takes advantage of standing with his right leg ah, in, in front of him. Right. Um, using his left kicks a lot, mm. and also, like, sneaking that left, right, straight hand in there. Right? Um, so it's hard to fight someone that's so uh, comfortable fighting uh, orthodox fighters. Like, for example, a Soda threw a big right uh, hook at one point, but because Yuta uh, Kubo is a uh, southpaw, it's too far away. Yeah, like, The body right, is right, too right. far away, so it didn't connect him. I kind of think we're going to see a very similar second round. To round one, huh? Let's see what happens is Soda and Kubo coming out to so round two. Start. I'm with Kubo. Okay. 
I mean, you can see some of those actually really trying to get in there. Yeah. I think he figured something out at the end of the first round. So mm. This is good, actually. Oh, God, he looks stiff in the start. So I've never seen Soda fight before in other fights, so I'm not sure how his fighting style really is. Mm -hmm. This is how he is, he seems like he's really, really tense in there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is a good kick, I think he hit him with that. Yeah, yeah that's almost like a poke up uh, kick. <laughs> He really got that little jab. He's just controlling it. Very good head work there. Too smooth. I'll tell you that. See, there's a lot of physical strength in there, right? That wrestling yeah. stuff. You yeah. can tell that he's physically strong. Ah, wants to get out there, yeah. But uh, he's not really putting that into the techniques mm. and stuff. No, that was good. That was good combo right there. Boom. Oh, okay, that could have hurt him. Boom. Oh, nice. Oh, there you oh. go. Now we're seeing something. You are so incredible. Yeah, well, finally, it took him five minutes to get to that point. But he's really gotten yeah, coming out of the show here. Oh, I like that. That yeah. kick was dangerous too, though. He was really good with his like, really I think they're both bleeding. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Mm. Okay. Look at that. Straight into the knee. That was a great quick kick combination. Too, we saw soda really come out of his, uh, his corner into the well, game. Well, I mean, yeah. clearly we could see that uh, Soda had a way better second round than his first round. Mm. He was way more aggressive, landing way more uh, punches. Yep. And Kuo taking quite a few beating there. Yeah, but then he also had a lot of come. I mean, this yeah. was a very evenly paced fight for both of them. They both had great moments in this round. We that was a good shot. Yeah, we, we could have did like three kicks in a row. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Those kind of short punches that don't Ooh. look like much, they're really dangerous. You can see he's hurt yeah, by them. Yeah. Otherwise, he wouldn't react the way he did. Hey, yeah. again. Wow. Yeah, definitely Soda had a great second round. Now, round three is going to come down to who wants it more. <laughs> right? Yeah. How are you guys? Yeah. I mean, they both have knockout power. Mm -hmm. Yuta Kubo more so than uh, Soda, but still strong. and pushes you around. <laughs> because there's not much you can do against it. It's so annoying though. <laughs> no, it's a great skill to have and when you can take advantage of it because you can really make your opponent frustrated. Sure. And then you can do a PR thing and keep people in the head. Nice. Nice. 
put him this one. Hey, this is not for me. Hey! 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 So they're pushing around? Yeah, mm. for, the, for the holding up. Mm. He's literally just holding on too much. Yeah. Mm. If he gets another one, that'll be a, a point deducted, so he yeah. better not keep doing that. Yeah. Wow, okay. But you kind of get stuck in there at this point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you get out, right? It's a good drop in the way. It's not like he wants to get there, mm. it just happens naturally. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Boom! Actually, yeah. want to fight to win yeah. because the only way they're going to win it is by punching and kicking. Yeah. This is not doing anything. This wrestling. Hey. It's interesting how it actually ends up going like that because it's. I don't think he really wants to fight like that. Mm. Well, now he's going to get yellow card. I think. So you told him, to the back there. Yeah. So so now he has to knock him out to win the fight. Yeah, he's got a lot of time to do it, but... Oh, man, he's taking some big shots out here. You know, those short hands. for holding on like that when they're technically both holding on. Yeah, well, that, that was going to be my next question, yeah. Who is doing the holding, yeah. It's just, Boom. Okay. Kubo seemed to go in and be the instigator right, of most right. of the holding. Oh, got it. Yeah. But he took some big shots there. Boom. I mean, that's just the incredible condition he is in that he doesn't go down. Yeah, so that, like you said, that, that one point might be detrimental to yeah, unfortunately, the judging? right? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, but then again, Soda is, you know, the runner-up in the tournament the previous yeah. year, so yeah. he definitely is, you know, champion material. So if he loses here, then it's there's no shame in that. Nope. What judges have to say. But it's also when you think about it, I mean, Kubo's got like twice as many fights in his career. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Nine, seven, yeah. Soda. Yeah. 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 And the last one. So that was the, yes. the product or the result yes. of the last two rounds. Yeah. Because the first round was really not good for him. No. Yeah. And he really found his groove, I think, yeah, right at the end of the first round, where he's like, oh, okay, I can just, I can just be more aggressive yeah. in my process. Yeah. Good for him. That's the one of the Yasuomi Soda. Yeah, that was a big win for him. Oh, this is uh, Kazuma. Mm -hmm. the champion. Nice and on, and this is a uh, suitcase. The 65 Undisputed Championship. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you get a suitcase? I don't know, maybe it's his. I think you bought that because you just wanted to prove it in writing. Uh, I have no idea. But that's what it looks like. Yeah. Oh, I, I can't. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> maybe maybe it's got his trunks in there, I don't know, yeah. I 
because he wants to travel to the next 65. Maybe the, that's the thing. Maybe one he wants to the end of. We'll, we'll see. And uh, let's let's look forward to more fights from Yasumi Soda. Thank you for watching. This was the K1 World Grand Prix 2015 Japan on the 55 KG World Championship Tournament at the uh, Yogi National Stadium. I'm Russell Guru. And I am Nicholas Pettis.